Today, I'm gonna to take a look back at the last high school basketball game of my senior year. This was a time when I was not committed anywhere for college and my basketball future was up in the air. Let's take a detailed look at some plays and see how my game has developed from high school to playing professionally in Finland. As you can see, I had solid defensive instincts and had a knack for reading passing lanes ahead of time. So I got the steal and showed off a little bit of the athleticism I used to have. However, at times, this defensive intuition would get me into a little trouble, like on this play where I gamble and we don't get the steal, leaving me out of position. Gambling on defense is all about risk reward, and more often than not, I would get the steal, but not always. Reading steal opportunities is something I've continued through college and into my professional career. I've gotten better at knowing when to take chances and when not to. But in this case, it leads nicely into a fast break layup for my teammate. You have to be aggressive when defenses go under you on ball screens or handoffs, or else they won't respect your shot. This is a miss, but it is the right shot. Here's another example of the defense going under or playing off me, and this time I step up and knock it down. If you continually take advantage of this type of defense, then they will have to change the way they guard you and you can use ball screens how you want to. Another read here, as soon as I see the defense go under the handoff, I'm taking advantage and being aggressive with my shot. You have to take advantage if the defense goes under you as much as possible, make or miss. This is a solid ball screen read where the defender goes under the first screen, so we flip it and set it lower. And then as I come off, I read the opposite guard has helped in too much, and it is an easy skip to the corner to attack a closeout. I've always been someone who had success on the baseline, but this should have been a shot for me. Otherwise, defenses can sag off me. That being said, the baseline can obviously be a good place to make a play. However, this is where you need to be careful on the baseline, and I'm not really the type of player to do a bunch of dribble moves. There just isn't much space unless it is a straight line drive. Like I said, driving left baseline continues to work for me. Notice how I immediately attack the closeout and drive hard into the open space to score, where I get a goaltending call. The defense here is worried about the post up down low, so notice how much space my defender is giving me. This needs to be a shot, but instead we get nothing. Even though this shot seems slightly guarded, I need to be aggressive with my shot to keep the defense honest. I miss this, but it leads to opportunities later on, like this play, where the defense has to take away the space and I can attack the closeout. The right play might have been to kick to the shooter, but I always like getting to this floater. As soon as I read that the defense starts to go under, it has to be a shot, and I take advantage on a deep three here. This is a great downhill attack using the between the legs hezzy to get to the basket. This looks a lot different from having to use multiple dribble moves that resulted in a turnover. I kept it simple. I have gotten much better since high school at these type of downhill attacks where I catch the ball on the run, eating up the space between me and the defender on his closeout. In transition here I try a left to right euro step to get around the charge, when the easier play was to euro the opposite direction and finish on the left side. Here I come over an Iverson screen to set up a ball screen rejection because the defender is behind trying to get through the screens, and into a nice little double clutch finish while shielding the defense. I come down in semi transition here with a goal to get to the basket. The right play would be a corner kick out after drawing the defense for a wide open three. I do like my aggression, but great finishers are able to slow down and stay on balance in these situations. Think of someone like Shea Gilgis Alexander. I like this play quite a bit because it is another attacking play where as soon as I see the defense over help, I get the ball out to an open shooter. I would sometimes get myself into trouble on longer dribble moves. Because I am so upright as I make the move, the defense can read my body and poke the ball free. And of course that turnover leads to an and one at a really big moment in the second half. We would often run this little iso play for me by running me off a pin in screen. This is a nice step back where I get absolutely destroyed by the defender closing out without a foul call. Nine times out of ten I'm getting this call if it happened in today's game. This was late in the game but I like my aggression coming right off the back of my screener and rising up over the defense for three. It is a nice read on the tip pass here to grab the steal, take one dribble, and shield the defender on the layup leading to a three point opportunity. I hope you can see some of the progress that I've made in my confidence, aggression, and decision making. And I hope you can learn from the kind of player that I was in high school. If you want more film breakdowns, check out this video on the highest IQ college basketball player I've ever watched.